In this video, we're going to talk all about the web. Now, what on earth can you learn about the web? Well, I'm going to introduce you to three terms, the surface web, the deep web, and the dark web. And I'm going to show you how the dark web can have a significant impact on your business. But before we start, don't forget to like this video. And if you've got any comments, please use the comment box below. Now, if I asked any business owner to describe the internet to me, they'd probably say words like websites, Google, YouTube, and this is kind of right. Now, all the websites that you can see by simply opening Google and searching for them are all publicly available. And all these websites live in the surface web. So you might open Google and search for an accountant in Leeds or a law firm in Sheffield or small business IT support. All the results that you'll see live in the surface web. But there is a staggering fact. The surface web only accounts for 4% of the entire internet. So what makes up the rest of the internet? Well, the next area of the internet is called the deep web. And this accounts for over 90% of the rest of the internet. There's nothing scary and there's nothing to fear about the deep web. The sites that live in the deep web won't show up on a Google search. Some of the examples of the websites in the deep web might be confidential corporate websites. You'd only access that if you had the link. Or it might be a membership site, perhaps a yoga site that you've registered for, and you need a username and a password to access it. Or what about your online banking? You can only access your online banking after you've entered your username, your password, and gone through two-factor authentication. You certainly wouldn't want your bank account available in a Google search. All these websites live in the deep web. So what about the remainder of the web? Well, the rest of the web is made up of something called the dark web. Firstly, a little bit of background about the dark web. In the 1990s, two research organizations in the USA wanted to create an encrypted and anonymous network to protect US spies. This secret network wouldn't be known or accessible by any other internet users. Now, the original intention of creating this network to protect US spies never actually materialized, but the two research groups still saw some value in creating a private corner of the internet. And this was the foundation of something called the Tor network. This is the underlying technology of something called the dark web. Now, you can't access any websites on the dark web through Google. In fact, you can't access any of them without specialist software. It's a hidden corner of the internet where privacy is absolute paramount. Now, unfortunately, when you create something based on privacy, it will undoubtedly attract criminal activity. And the dark web certainly does. Now, criminals use the dark web to trade in lots of illegal activity. There's a huge marketplace on the dark web where you can buy and sell different things. Some of the things available to buy are things like stolen credit card numbers, drugs, firearms, even hacked Netflix accounts. On the dark web, you can hire computer hackers to hack into computer networks. The list goes on and on. Anything that you can think of will be available on the dark web. So the big question is, how does this affect your business? Well, to explain this, let's look at an example. In 2012, the popular cloud file sharing system Dropbox suffered a major cyber attack. Millions and millions of Dropbox usernames and passwords were stolen and listed for sale on the dark web. So in effect, you could go onto the dark web, buy someone's Dropbox username and passwords, log in and access all of the data. Here's another one. In 2016, LinkedIn was hacked and 165 million usernames and passwords again ended up for sale on the dark web. And believe me, your Dropbox and your LinkedIn credentials will be worth something to someone. These details might be used by criminals to steal your business data, or they might be used with other credentials to try and build up a digital picture of you. Consider this scenario. Your Dropbox credentials and your LinkedIn credentials are both listed for sale on the dark web and you use the same password for everything. 
It's not going to take long for the hacker to work out that you use Microsoft 365 for email. They can then guess your user credentials based on the common password that you use. And bang, they're in your email system. So they can just sit there observing, waiting for the right opportunity to try and steal data or money from your business. So the dark web really does have an impact on your business. So I've given you all this information about the dark web. What can you do today to try and protect your business? Well, I spoke about LinkedIn and Dropbox getting hacked. Obviously, there is nothing you can do to stop these large platforms suffering from a cyber attack. But you can absolutely react when they do have a cyber attack. So I've got two main tips here. The first tip is to use a free online tool that will search the dark web for you. This tool is called haveibeenporn.com. You simply enter your email address and click on search. It will then return any dark web entries for sites that have been hacked and your details exposed. If any of your accounts are listed, for example, LinkedIn, then you can log in and you can change your password if you haven't done so in the last few years. Or if there's any accounts listed that you don't use anymore, you can close them down. For example, I used to use an app called MyFitnessPal and that suffered a data breach in 2018. Because I don't use that app anymore, I simply close my account. There are new online platforms that are getting hacked every day. You might have lots of people in your business and you might not have the time to keep searching the dark web. Lots of IT companies are now offering continual dark web scanning for their clients. When something new pops up, they'll inform you immediately and you can take the relevant action. My second tip is something that I talk about a lot and that is good password management. Firstly, never use the same password for more than one application. Secondly, always choose a long and complex password for each application. Thirdly, to help you manage all your passwords, use an online password manager. And fourthly, if the application has two-factor authentication available, then use it. LinkedIn, for example, has two-factor authentication, but so many people don't enable it. I hope you found this video useful. I see a lot of scaremongering when it comes to the dark web, but as with everything when it comes to IT, the answers are very simple. See you again soon.